In question number five it says, a dumbbell shaped object is composed by two equal masses, data m connected by a rod of negligible mass and length r. It says that if i1, the moment of inertia 1, is the moment of inertia of this object with respect to an axis passing through the center of the rod and perpendicular to it, and i2 is the moment of inertia with respect to an axis passing through one of the masses, then it follows that. Now to understand this better, this whole length is represented as the letter R. So that means that the distance from this side to the center to the rod is going to be half of the half of R. And the same thing is going to apply in this case, R over 2. So if the axis of rotation is this, that means that the moment of inertia is going to be the mass 1 times the length of this side I put another color of this half plus m times the length of the the other half now if you add them up we're gonna get 2 mr squared divided by 4 and divided by 4 because r over 2 squared is r squared and then 2 is squared so r squared over 4 that's why we have two of these guys on top because they have the same coefficient m r squared so for our, for the moment of inertia 1 we should get 1 half of m r squared as we cancel out the 2 and then this left us with the 2 now for the moment of inertia 2 this line is still the axis of rotation but in this case we don't have another half for um, <clears throat> for the radius, there's only one distance from one mass to the other one. And we will represent that as mass times radius squared. Now, as we compare the moment of inertia 2 to the moment of inertia 1, we know that 1 half is 0 0.5. And the coefficient for the moment of inertia 2 is 1. So 1 is much bigger than 0 0.5. And our answer would be letter A.